Hi everyone, let's begin Friedman test. That is one of the non-parametric tests. And uh, Friedman test, when repetitive measures ANOVA we are going to apply when our data is normal. So then we are going to apply ANOVA. But here is our data is not normally distributed. So in that case, we are going to apply non-parametric test and that is Friedman test. So what we have to do in this case, we have taken one case study. And in this case, non-parametric technique, the Friedman test is equivalent to repeated measures of within subjects ANOVA. The test is used to compare two or more related samples. So because in this, in our case, we have three samples. One is normal, hot, and cold. So we just want to check the consumption times in minutes for 50 beverages bottles per individual of 20 individuals were measured under normal weather conditions in cold weather or in hot weather. So there are three conditions when the weather is normal and when the weather is hot and when the weather is cold. So these are the 20 individuals data I have taken. This one is the consumption pattern I have recorded. So this one is the no significance difference exists in consumption times across all three weather conditions. So I just want to check this null hypothesis, whether this there is any significance difference right in the in, during the consumption time or not so we have to prove this uh, statistically in r so what we have to do for this purpose let me clean all these my window let me clear all my window so here is also i am closing all the files and at a scratch we just want to open a uh, new file, right? This is my console. And uh, you can see here, let me open my SPSS file and uh, I will browse this. And where I put it, this file that is in my R Studio folder and uh, Friedman test. And uh, let me open this folder. And after that, I would open this file. And as you know, when, when we are going to open any SPSS file, we are using Heaven. This is the library Heaven we want. So simply we have to import this file. You can see here, there are three columns, normal, hot, and cold. And uh, there are total number of the entries are 20. So we would like to apply this. Friedman test. But before this, what we have to do, let me, this file, this is the Friedman test, this is my file name. So let me check uh, one most important thing is I have to put this file in this, uh, let me create uh, one variable that is uh, fri equal to, and I would write this name Friedman test right i would put this file in this variable so you can see here this variable is created over here and uh, let me you can check this summary also of this file what kind of data you have so you have simply write this 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 uh, summary function and you can see minimum i mean normal is the minimum number is five first quartile 23.75 median and all these things right median is, is 29 and 45 so what we have to do through box plot also we can check this um, uh, this one is a uh, median also so what i have to write here is we will write simply box plot and uh, I have to write here, uh, where is uh, this data is put it here, uh, FRI, then dollar sign, and first is normal, then comma, and again, I have to write FRI, then dollar sign, and I will opt hot, and uh, after that, I would write FRI, and then again is dollar sign, let me take cold fine and uh, then we have to click here so now you can see this one is the three box plots you can see here but these are the by default this is the gray color but i don't want this color i want you can see here their means also but before this i would like to give them colors also simply i have to press up arrow so this our command would be copied here. And now what I have to do, I will just press comma and I will write COL color. 
and uh, what color schemes we are going to take c right and i just want to give let's say uh, 6 7 8 uh, i just want to give 6 7 and 8 let me enter right these are the colors okay eight is the by default is a gray color so no problem so this one is the these three colors are here and simply what you have to do simply you can if you would like to report in your research work you can copy these plots from this place export and uh, either you have to save as image save as pdf or copy to clipboard so now you can see here what are i mean means are you can see this is the mean value right for the normal this is the mean value for the hot and this is mean value of for this cold uh, when the weather is cold so now what we have to do we just want to find out whether is hypothesis null hypothesis is accepted or it's rejected so what i have to do simply i have to write here you can see here f r i friedman test right and what we have to do we will write as dot matrix uh, as dot matrix and simply i have to write my file name mm, this is my file name and simply i have to press enter so now you can see this these are my values and we have to copy all these values from this place right you can see chi square is uh, 17.844 and uh, and uh, degree of freedom 2 p value is less than 0 0.05 so what we have to do is simply we have to copy these results over here and then i am going to compare both these results uh, those i have received through spss also so now what i have to do let me okay fine uh, right these are my results that i have got through uh, r studio and when i run this uh, same data through spss so i'm sure the, the, this was the result and uh, 0 0.00 again that was the significant right p value was less than 0 0.05 so on the basis of this we had rejected this null hypothesis and we had accepted alternate hypothesis and then we said yes there is significant difference exists in consumption time across all three weather conditions and that was the interpretation at that time when i had run through spss the chi square and degree of freedom 2 and 20 and 17.844 p value was less than 0 0.05 shows that significance difference exists in consumption times across all three weather conditions the result shows in cold weather consumption of average slowed and in hot weather averages were consumed minimum time as compared to other weather conditions and the same thing that was the uh, that that was the results came out and reject the null hypothesis that was the related samples friedman two-way analysis of the variance by ranks and uh, now you can see the same results we have received through r square so we had uh, cross check and we had verified our results through spss also so i'm sure i'm sure this video would be helpful to you and you could be able to apply uh, friedman test on your non parametric data and when your data is not normally distributed and uh, that you are you are replacing uh, when in the normal data distribution condition you had applied repeated measured ANOVA but here is you are applying Friedman test so I'm sure this video would be helpful thank you keep watching